Hello everybody and welcome to a dark general vlog video. Let's turn a flashlight on here. Alright. You have to pardon the dog's toys and the cat back here, but let's turn a light on. We're getting ready to do some work. And we're in the hallway right now. And this leads off to my bathroom. This leads off to my bedroom. And that leads off to the cat's room, which she's wanting in there right now. So let me open up the door just a little bit for her here. All right, and there she goes. All right, so what we're going to be working on today, I brought a light so you guys will be able to see it. I don't know how well you can see that. See how much, see all the scratches on the wall, look all the way up, see all them scratches. I'll try to hold the camera with this hand so I can point. See all these scratches? all the way up you can see she tore up the wall there all through there and it's on the other side of the bathroom wall too I don't know how well you can see um, see all of them see how they're white so then we have the carpet here which we're not going to mess with tonight you can see a bald spot bald spot there bald spot over there uh, then going into my bedroom, if I can do all this with a light, see all the scratches on this wall, all the way up. This is where my cat climbs the walls. So, and you can also see a bare spot there, where she's chewed it all the way down to the wood while she claws it, is what she does. And I'll explain to you why and how that happened. Let's get, let me... Move this vacuum cleaner and stuff. All right, well, I got no really, no other place to put those. I'm gonna put them in this closet, and I forgot this closet's full. So anyways, on this closet, I don't know how well you can see. Let me try to turn this light out. Let me try that. Does that help any? You can see all the scratches, all the way down the wall, all the way up to the top. You can see scratches clear up to here. And then on the inside, yeah, this closet is full. That's extra dog food, extra pillows. Anyways, I'm sure it ain't showing up good in camera. But there's scratches all up and down these walls. This corner, and then this closet. I don't even know what's in this closet, so... Okay, that's not too bad. Um, oh, it's a light... I see light shining down there. Look like a pile of something laying right there. It's just light. But anyways, look look at how bad that is all up and down that wall. And she's got a scratching post right there. She's never bothered to use it. So, we've got the two corners I showed you earlier. One going into the other bathroom and one going into here. I still got Christmas stuff up. And then these two, so that's four. And then I'll take you into here and show you what she's done in the bathroom. I had to excuse Ricky was in here and didn't shut the shower door. And the dog, I think, is in the bathtub. Nope, there he goes. Okay, so you can see scratches. Clearly see that one. Scratches all up and through there. Clear up to here, and I'm up to my nose now. That's how high it is. And then over here, you can see she scratched. And we also have a crack to take care of. But you can see all the scratches all up and down that wall. And I think there's some over here. But I painted them and they didn't look too bad. She get up on this little shelf here that I built for a cell phone to set when you're on the toilet. Too much information, right? But, uh... Anyways, I painted those and those are just fine. So that's what we're doing today. We are going to try to fix those. So let me get you set up in a tripod over here and get some lights on on this situation. That's oh yeah, I turned it off to show you guys with the cam or with the flashlight. Alright. So let me get you all set up in here. And I gotta set you up in here backwards because I was wanting to be able to zoom. Like let me zoom right now. Look at all them scratches. All the way up and down, everywhere. So, that's why she has the nail caps on now. 
So now I can fix all this. So let me get you guys set up in the tripod here, and I'll bring you right back. Alright, so I accidentally ended the video trying to put it in there. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to get this stuff down here. And I've never textured over texture. First thing i got to do is get the plug covers and stuff off. And then we'll go from there. So just bear with me. Hopefully I won't stop the video this time. All right, so I was kind of waiting until the dog and cat went to bed, but they're not. So I'm just going to get some in my hand and smear it over this. I'm just going to do the whole post, whether it's got scratches on one side or not. And it doesn't matter because it's got scratches on both sides. And I'm just going to basically put it on there to begin with. Uh, oh, it's got scratches all down this corner here, too. Oh, gee, why wouldn't it? All right. I know I keep walking right in front of you guys. Sorry about that. And all this side over here has got it. Oh, I touched the curtain rod. Oh, well, those all come down anyways. All right. I'm going to get down here on my butt. I don't know if you, uh, and I just dropped some on the floor. Goodness gracious. All right. I'm probably blocking you guys, and I'm sorry about that, but I got to get in here and get this done. We're not putting a very thick coat on, and then we're taking most of what we put on and taking it back off. Oh, I got some on the light switch. So I know right now that doesn't look good. I'm going to go ahead and do this other side real quick. And the sad part about it is I don't think I can pause the camera. Alright, I've already got this one over here textured. So I will go and knock the edges back down once it dries. But this one down here, I textured the top, but I haven't the bottom yet. So let me get this bucket here out of my way, and I'll come down here. I went and cleaned my hands off so I can touch the camera. Let me go down here and just kind of, oh, it looks like I've already done this, this side. So let's work on, yeah, let's work on this side. First you get all the excess off, or this is how I do it. I get all the extra off. And then, definitely on these sides, I don't want any extra. So then I go and I texture pretty much all the way down on the inside. And then right there is where I stop texturing. I'm just running my hand in circular motions. On the front, since it's so wide, I try to do like two to three little circles. On the sides, I'm just doing one. Hope you guys can see that. And that's just basically what I'm doing. I'm just running circles, trying not to do anything straight. Do it all in circles. Up around the light switch. That looks pretty uniform, other than up here I've got a little too much on the sides. So I'll pull that back off, retexture that. Oh, I see some clear up here I missed. So I'll get way up there. Now that's above my head, that's over six foot tall. You guys can't even see what I'm doing. And I can't move the camera. There we go. I'm happy with that. Now on to the bathroom. Alright, so it's really hard to film and move the camera around and do all that while doing this. But here's the same thing. Just going to swipe up the top. All the way down the front. Um, side looks pretty bad too. So we'll come over here to this side. Alright, 
to see how bad they are. Oh, this side's pretty bad too. So we'll come up this side. All up to about the same. Oop, I just dropped some. At least I'm in the bathroom, so this floor is easy to clean. So once I've got it smeared on there, then I'm going to take and start wiping it back off with the blade of my hand. Oh, wow, that was a mess. A lot more on there than what I thought. Well, I'm going to have to clean that for sure. Anyways, the blade of my hand is like a karate chop blade. And then I'll come up it. <coughs> I'll go down this one. Get the majority of it off. And then I wipe my hands in the bucket. And then I'm going to go ahead and clean my hands here in the bathroom sink. Alright, I'm sorry that you guys got to watch all this. Uh, Let's see. I think now well, that's a dirty rag. Oh, I keep these white rags around. They're really handy for cleaning up messes, which is what this is. But it wipes up really easy. All right, while we're down here, and our hands are still a little bit wet. We'll go ahead and start texturing, and we'll get it up to about the top of the dryer or washer there, and then we'll. Oh, I don't think I don't think I got it on thick enough. Maybe. I know I've already done that, but I'm doing a little bit bigger circles because that's what I did on the wall. And same over here. Alright, I think that's got the majority of them off. Nah, it just, it's a little too thin right in here. So I'm going to thicken it up a little bit. Oh, that looks a lot better. I'm glad I did that. Alright, so now I can't put my hands down to help me up. So i got to put my elbows down to help me up. So here we go. And you can see, you can about see the size of a pattern that I did on the wall before. Should have probably took that star down. But I did, and it looks like I made it around it. <coughs> Same way here. Since I'm doing this whole thing, I don't have to really try to blend it. Try to blend it in over here. And I'll show you a little trick here in just a second. Alright. I think I'm happy. Let me go back here where you guys are at and look. I don't see any more cat scratches. Just try to get it and get it as good as you can. <coughs> that all on the front looks good. Alright, now let me wash my hands and I'll show you a few little tricks. And once again, I'm sorry you guys are having to go through this. It's just, I can't touch the camera without washing my hands first. So I wash my hands, get them all dry. Alright, so as you can see, it blends in pretty good. Of course, it's white and the walls aren't. But if you look over here, if you just kind of see, let's see, like uh, right, 
right down here. See how we have some distinct circular patterns right here? If I run that in the same direction into that, and I do that, like, let, let's, let's look up here. See this right here? Looks like I just kind of swiped my hand across it on the original. So I blended that in. So if you do that, probably all 50% of it, it'll blend in and nobody will ever be able to see it. So now let's move over here to this one. I've never actually done any of this. I've never had to texture over texture. But, alright, let's do this one real quick. Um, this one is partial cat and partial just a crack from where it might have been too thin or too thick the first time I did it. But right up to here is all cat. All of that down there is all cat, except for, you know, the crack is still there. And that cat is still climbing my walls. That's the noise you just heard. That was the cat climbing the wall. I don't see how it does it or why it does it. But it shouldn't be able to leave claw marks now because it's got the nail caps on. But if it does that tonight, while this stuff is wet, it's going to leave a mark. So, uh, that's just the things that you have to put up with, I guess. Alright, same thing. You can see, I don't know if you guys can see down here. Because I don't know how I've got you positioned in there. I can show you once I get up there a little bit taller. See, on up in, oh wow, she got right in there really good. And what I'm going to do is kind of look for my patterns that I've done before. And kind of blend them in as much as you possibly can. If you get at least 50%, now I'm stuck. Hold on. If you get at least 50% of your pattern shown correctly, it'll blend in so well nobody will ever be able to tell what you did. Now up here is not the cat, it's just we're working with that crack. And once again, I'm trying to look at the way that my fingers were making the pattern, my hand. Getting a little too heavy around the edges here. So I go back and fix that. Now once that's painted, I don't believe you'll ever notice any of that. I honestly, truly don't. So let me clean my hands off again. So that is four of the six corners that we have to do. And like I said, I just seen the cat go up she went up the bathroom wall, and there's the puppy waiting on us. All the cats, look, I don't know if you guys can see that. The cat was laying there pawing at it. So let me get, I got some in here. Let me get this light here on. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But right in there is all tore up. Up in there is all tore up. You can see where I tried to paint it, and she's climbed since then. Clear up to here. I'm going to have to stand up on the steps to get to that. Clear up to there. You can see where she clawed the wood right here. Um, there's really nothing I'm going to do about that, I don't think. So anyways, let me get doing some more here. I'm going to bring you guys back when I'm closer to the end. Alright, so I got these all done. Let me go get my flashlight. Alright, flashlight. And you can see, I don't know how well you can see. But I also had to do this corner over here and did all that in there all the way up. I'm kind of pointing with my light here. Let me get a different kind of light on. There we go. All the way up that whole edge. This whole edge. So I think I've got it all. So let me get you guys. I can't stand it when I can't see the camera. So... I'm just going to take a chance that you guys can see me. So there we did it. We, we fixed what the cat's messed up. It took, oh, about 30 minutes. It got probably 
15 of it on camera or more. Uh, the carpet, I'm not sure exactly yet. I'm going to look at Lowe's tomorrow or the next day and see what kind of uh, option I got. But now, right now, I've got the cat locked in the back room because she did. As soon as I finished it, she climbed the wall. She can do it with them plastic things on. Now, once it's hardened and painted, I don't think she'll be scratching or anything. I hope not. So, but anyway, so she's going to tear the carpet up even worse. Uh, but she only needs to stay in there about an hour. Then this will be hard enough that hopefully by then she'll go to bed. I was trying to wait for them to go to bed, but eh, who knows when they go to bed. But anyways, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Like and subscribe. And once you subscribe, smash that bell notification. Go all the way up to the top and click all so you'll be notified on every single video or live stream that we post. Follow us on Facebook under General Vlog Videos. Share us on your social media pages. And remember that when I ask you to subscribe, it's not like a magazine subscription. It's 100% free. It just helps our channel grow the same way a thumbs up helps our channel grow. Now with that being said, hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night. And I do mean that from the bottom of my heart. And please, please, please be safe. But remember, I may have all my texture and stuff done so I can paint tomorrow. But I'm still my own cameraman, which means I get to get up close and personal and poke you guys in the ear. Nope. I got to get up close and personal and go behind you guys and poke you from behind. That didn't sound right. I got to go and poke you in the head from behind. There we go. We'll see you on the next video. And please, please, please be safe.